Okay, for language, for sixth grade, we're just going to be doing a lot of reviewing. Okay, I put these charts up there so they can help you a little bit to remember, to understand what these are, parts of speech. You can always go back to this video if you forget uh, what some of these meanings are for these things. I have these charts uh, put up here for you. We're going to be reviewing conjunctions, prepositions, interjections, pronouns, and subjects and verbs. Remember that your subjects and your verb <clears throat> it's what what the sentence is talking about it's usually your noun your your uh your and then your verbs are going to be what what the what they're doing what your noun is doing so remember an adjective modifies a noun or sometimes a, an adjective or or an adverb can modify the adjective so when an adverb it's going to modify uh, your verb. And sometimes it modifies your adjectives. Or sometimes it can even modify an adverb. Okay? So don't forget, um, we're just reviewing a lot of these things that we've already been learning. Okay? Here's a chart explaining to you what an adverb is. It describes an adjective, an adverb, an adjective, or another adverb. A preposition shows relationship between a noun or pronoun or another word in the sentence. You always have to see what the sentence is talking about. Always ask what, when, where, how, how often, to what extent. If you ask those things when you read your sentences, you'll be able to distinguish if it's an adverb or if it's a... a uh, adjective or if it's a preposition okay or a prepositional phrase don't forget your conjunctions are words that connect okay like if you write Sally and Mary your conjunctions are always going to be the words that connect that two sentences together it could be and it could be but it could be or it could be different words. As long as it's connecting, that's going to be your conjunction. Your interjections are expressing strong feeling. Okay? Remember, uh, interjections is something that somebody's saying excited. They're excited about it. Wow, did you see that big boat? Or, hey, we're over here. So those are all interjections. And we want to be, uh, be, be able to distinguish what an interjection is when we're reading sentences. Also, I know how you love diagramming, sixth grade. And so diagramming seems like it's getting a lot more complicated at times. But remember, we're just breaking up the sentence. Okay, it asks you for your subject, tells you for your verb, it asks you for your, your direct object, and sometimes your indirect object. So this is two different ways and how we can break it down. Now, some of them, sometimes you'll, ha you'll have a couple of lines this way. And if it's talking about the big, the big, uh, house then that's what they what what's the subject file you can put the big uh, the house and then what they're talking about you put the underneath it because that's what they're talking about they're, they're they want a little bit more specifics on what the subject is the verb of course when you write your verb down and then sometimes you'll use your adverb to describe your verb so then you're going to have another line here for your adverb describing your verb Okay, and then of course your direct objects and your indirect objects, what are they talking about? Okay, so it's just going to get broken down more. So that's what they're doing. They're still doing the parts of speech, but they're just breaking it down. That's what diagramming is. Instead of you writing a verb, a noun, an adjective over each word, you're breaking it down in a diagram. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing uh, for the next couple of weeks on language.